do this tutorial. It's a more simple tutorial on resistance or Ohm's law. So first, we got a couple of images here, and I want you to see this. Um, it's really important that R, you know that the symbols, R equals resistance, and we measure that in ohms, and we use this awesome omega symbol here. Um, volts, the capital V, and capital I is current, measured in amps, and the unit is A. These are awesome. So how do you understand Ohm's law? We have this neat little diagram here where this little character is like the law of the land. Ohms is resistance. In electrical circuits, ohms require, or this ohm here, is the resistance to the flow of electrons. The flow of electrons equals electricity. Down here we have a couple of different images to try and help you understand what these three components are when it comes to electricity. The first is this water pump here. So here's a water pump and it's pushing water like hardcore, right? Imagine this is like a drinking fountain and then you, and um, or something like that. And there's water pipes blasting here, but this, see this little part of the pipe that's a little smaller, it would be more difficult for the water to go through that small uh, pinched off pipe. That would be the resistance. And we would have lower pressure going back. And as soon as it hits this water pump again, kaboom, it's high pressure. So we have a few things going on in here. We have the pipe changing, that's resistance. We have the water flow. How much water is actually flowing through the system? That would be the current. And that makes sense because it's water current in this metaphor. And of course, the pressure of the water would be the voltage. Now we have uh, here a schematic diagram of an electrical circuit. This is a series circuit, but that's irrelevant in this. We have the power supply or a battery, and that's what batteries do. They actually force electrons at high pressure or high voltage, right? Potential energy, and it pushes it through. And we get to this spiky little Mount Doom here. This is resistance in a schematic diagram. So this resistance could be a light bulb, a stereo, I don't know, a, a, an electric tooth grinder, whatever you need, right? But Electricity will power this load, and then it'll go right back to the power supply that will reestablish its potential, its electrical potential, just like you would this water circuit here. So we can measure resistance or volts or current with this formula right here. Resistance equals volts divided by current. And I just love this. So we see these this volts pushing the amperage or the electrons. Now these are all electrons here, except for ohms. This guy is just like, you can't get on through this here thing, but it's all good. So volts is how hard this, this, uh, this little guy is pushing the electrons through this circuit, okay? The harder you push and the more amps or the more current, the more flow of electrons, the stronger things work. So let me show you this. Now this is the infamous triangle to help you manipulate easy three variable uh, formulas like Ohm's law or R equals V over I. Now the best course of action is to memorize the formulas. Um, but you know what, that's okay, that comes with practice. In fact, I'm gonna retract that. The best course of action is to know how to manipulate a formula. Because like, there will be questions where you have this formula and you have to solve for I, or you have to solve for V, and we need different formulas. For now, you know, the, the triangle works. You're gonna get teachers to say, don't use this because it doesn't, it doesn't teach you how to manipulate formulas, and they're right. So, I'm gonna show it to you anyways. Um, what we have here, is I'm gonna get my pen color of black. Where we have resistance, uh, resistance. We, we first we draw this little triforce of power, and what you do is you load up uh, where everything's at. As you can see, that if I'm looking at volts, volts is on top of or above I. Now in this triangle, there's only one place where you can put volts so that's on top or above things. And if it's gonna be above I, let's get the blue color, it doesn't matter which slot I put it in, V is over I. And the remaining spot you would use, you'd put that last or third variable R into it. So here we go, V over, uh, in this spot, V over I, just like our formula that's usually given to us on some sort of whatever. This is Ohm's law. Resistance is a ratio, volume to current, or volume, voltage to current. So if you're looking for volts, what you would do, is you would cover up 
Um, you would actually cover up. I'm going to just do like a, a heart. Oh, that's so nice. Look at this heart. Isn't that great? You guys are in love with this heart. So what you want to do is if you're looking for V, you don't know what V is. It's required. I want you to cover that V with a heart or with your hand or with something. And you simply need to write down what is left over, right? You see R beside I. So volts is resistance times current. Isn't that super fun? Aren't we, aren't we, aren't we all very excited about that? And sometimes there'll be questions that are like, well, what is I? We'll cover what we're looking for so we don't see it. And what is left over on this triangle? Well, what's left over is um, V over R. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these are your formulas. And you can draw this stupid little triangle and try and you know, input it in there. But like I said, the best course of action, if I'm looking for V, I, I see that it's being divided by I, I'll, I'll multiply both sides by I. These cancel out and when we have V equals R times I. So that's what you should be doing people, but sometimes the triangle helps. So let me go through a simple example. Okay, so we are looking at a Nintendo phone requires 15 amps of current to flow through at a 60 volt uh, at 60 volts to charge. So you're trying to charge your your uh, Nintendo phone. What is the resistance the Nintendo phone is providing on the circuit? Okay, so uh, just just again, so check this out. Back here, it's like here's your power supply. This would be your wall, your plug-in, right? And you plug in a phone. A Nintendo phone and the phone so your charger cord would actually be these two lines that are in one cord But if you look really carefully the wires or if you open it up the wires are separated So you got this one 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 part of the plug-in up, up Attached to the wall and it's going in through and here's your phone that's trying to draw out energy So it's gonna slow the voltage and slow the current. It's gonna resist the flow, but it's gonna charge your phone and it's going to go back into the wall, and the wall will re re replenish the electrical potential and send more into your phone until it is totally charged. And so what we have here is the GRASP method. You write down what's given, required, analyze the formula, solve the problem, and paraphrase. I strongly suggest that you go through every single physics formula with the following, uh, following uh, procedure. Write down what's given, write down what's required, analyze the formula, solve the problem, and then paraphrase. This will train your brain in physics, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna choose this different color of pen because I've gone done written down because it doesn't matter if it's a Nintendo phone or a food processor or a TV or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. What I have is we have what is given in the question is I equals 15 amps, V equals 60 volts. And it says here in the question, what's the resistance? So the resistance is here. Now, to analyze the formula, like some people just want to go right to solve the problem. You don't want to just solve the problem. That doesn't teach you a method of thinking. Organize the question by writing down what's given and then required. So the formula. We need a formula that has all three of these in here. Well, we know that Ohm's law is R equals volts divided by current. That's pretty sweet. Uh, do we need to manipulate this formula? No, because what we are solving for or what is required is already being solved for in this formula. So now all we have to do is solve this little puppy by substituting what we have, what we've given into this formula. So what does that look like? Resistance equals 60 volts. Oh yeah, 60 volts divided by 15 amps. And how many ohms of resistance does that actually does that actually require? I don't know. Sixty divided by that is something. I don't. I don't give two craps about what it is. But that's what that's what's happening here. Okay. What was that four? Yeah, it's four. Four ohms of resistance. Alrighty, guys. So takeaway from this paraphrase it requires uh, the, the Nintendo phone resists this this circuit uh, with four ohms whatever and that's a simple example of resistance and now all you have to do is totally practice because of course practice perfect practice makes perfect and this is perfect practice